still has the skin attached and it's just quite firm um, which is why I'm opting to go for the slow cook on this if you wow that smells amazing if you can just look at that yeah that's just streaky and the bones are just here so all that is meat that's going to be used in the making of this bean stew um, it really really does smell amazing um, you know home cured bacon you can't beat it it's, it's, it's better than anything you'll ever buy in the store and what I'm going to simply going to do is place it in the baking tray that's lined with tin foil I'm going to add I'm not going to add salt because there's plenty of salt in the, uh, the bacon so I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper To enhance the smokiness um, that's already in it from the cold smoke, I've actually got um, some of this smoked paprika powder. It's not cheap, it's one of the more expensive brands you can buy, but to be perfectly honest, it is worth every penny. Uh, and all I'm going to do is add about a teaspoon, if I can open the, the tin. Best laid plans of uh, mice and men. Typical that this doesn't work. There we go. It's coming. Wow. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a teaspoon. I'm going to scatter it just on the bottom of the foil. Grab all the wayward lead that just pinged off everywhere. water to the base. Try and keep this bacon nice and moist while it cooks. Now it's going to be in there for a, I reckon about a couple of hours if not more. We'll check on it in two hours anyway. Just to see how it's coming along with a little bit more tin foil. skin if I can. I'm not too worried about getting anything sort of like scratchings or anything like that off it but I, the, the main thing is I want this bacon to be absolutely tender. So we'll see how it's like in a couple of hours time. Okay so just turn these I've got some onions sweating away in this pan here which was chopped a couple of large red onions and this is our bacon by roast is now cooled down. I'm just going to take the skin off. Now, I was hoping to get this skin quite crispy, but it's, uh, it's not gone that way, unfortunately. So I'm going to take the skin off and keep as much of the fat on the bones as I can. Get that out of the way. Now I need to get rid of the bones themselves. Sides. Bacon. Cube. 
I'll uh, set the camera now and get this done and put in and pick up with the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so that's the bacon chopped up and added to the pot. Uh, it's been sitting away for a little while. I want to get some of that fat rendered out of it. And that was a home cured piece of belly pork. Uh, dry cured with molasses and then cold smoked for four days on hickory smoke. Went to the pot. I'm just going to pour this over here so it won't be too much of a mess. I'm going to add some more of our ingredients. First of all, a catering tin of chopped tomatoes. Splashing everywhere. And the catering pack of baked beans. Just give that a little scrape out. Chili flakes, smell lovely and smoky. I'm going to give a good couple of teaspoons of those. I'm also going to add some of our sweet smoked paprika. One that I always have trouble opening. Good couple of really heat teaspoons in there, maybe a bit more. There we go. And my molasses sugar. I'm going to put all of this in. This is what 500 grams. Take a little bit of doing. Taste 
tasting spoon. Okay, so the basics are there. <clears throat> nice smoky flavour. And now to that, we're going to add the special ingredient. Now, as I said earlier, couldn't get any bourbon, so it's just normal whiskey. I'm putting about half this. There we go. And carry on stirring. And hopefully, this cooks a little bit more, thicken. I think that sugar is more or less dissolved. Can't see any more big lumps of it. So there we go. Make sure you get all the way down to the bottom of the pot. Give everything a good stir. Quick taste. Mmm. We'll let that simmer and we'll come back to that in a bit and just finalise everything up with some more seasoning probably according to taste and we'll take it from there. Okay well this has been stirring for a while now and as you can see it's thickened up nicely and that really is all that he's doing with this. Um, just at the end if you add your salt and pepper according to your taste but look at that that's lovely nice and thick it tastes really smoky that bacon really has done the treat mm. so get simple just uh, have a go at home this will uh, go in the cartons some will be frozen and some will be eaten late today Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.